Hey loves, it's me Destiny and today I'm back with the pros and cons video on the crochet method. So I just want to share my experience with the method with you guys. So I hope you all enjoy this video. So I'm going to start off with the pros first, the good things. Um, so the first good thing about this method is that your hair can be washed or wet um, right after it's done and you don't have to worry about it unraveling. I actually ended up washing my hair right after I crocheted it because I had noticed buildup and I wanted to make sure I handled that situation before it got worse. And so I washed my hair and then like everything was everything was straight. There was no issues at all. Um the second cool thing about this method is that you can create blunted tips with this. As you can see, I have no more straggly see-through ends, so that's that's like one of the main reasons why I love this method is that you can fix your tips. Um, and then the last good thing about this method was that it looks like locks or your locks look more mature than what they are. So I had a lady come up to me thinking my locks were older than what they already were, than what they really were. And she had a hard time believing that I was only six months locked. So yeah, that was pretty crazy. I mean, she made me feel all good about myself. And she had starter locks herself. She had two strand twists. And she kept telling me, girl, I'm just tired of this stage. I'm just, I'm ready for the length. I'm tired of this. And so I gave her like a few words of encouragement and told her to keep going strong, that she'll get there. And yeah, it was pretty cool, you know, talking to someone else in the starter lock game. Um, let me stop babbling. So, the cons are that if done incorrectly, it can cause lumpy locks. So, if you only crochet one side of your lock, which is so easy to do, it can cause lumpy locks. You know, one side will be all smooth, the other side is going to be all frizzy and loopy and everything um so the second con on the list is that there is a risk of breakage and or damage to your hair so if done incorrectly or if done excessively you can actually rip out the knots that you put in place so make sure that when you're crocheting your hair you crochet until the lock feels firm between your fingers then that's when you move on to the next section of hair and do the same exact thing. Wait till it feels firm between your fingers, then move on. Don't crochet the same part over and over and over and over and over and over again. Um, I mean, you know, do it until it feels firm, but don't do it trying to make it rock hard <laughs> because you're just going to be ripping out your hair. So yeah. Um, and then the last con on the list is that it is very, very, very tedious and very, very time consuming. It literally took me a day and a half just to get through my whole head. Like, it takes forever. Like, I wish I had someone to do it to my own hair. Like, I wish I didn't have to do it. But, I mean, I love this method. I'm not gonna lie, I love it, but that's the one thing that bugs me about it. Alright, so before I let you guys go, just be sure to drop down any comments, questions down below in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to them. Also, I just want to thank you so much for joining me on my journey and you have a good one. Bye!